Hey brothers and sisters, uh, Jess here. December 3rd, I had a dream. And I hope y'all pay attention to what I'm about to share with y'all. I have, I'm pretty sure, like 11 scriptures to back up the main theme in my dream. So after I get done with my dream, I'm going to you know, give y'all the scriptures so you can go, go and check it out. Okay, in my dream, December 3rd of 2012, um, I, me, my mom, and my aunt were walking out of a store, and you know how sometimes stores will have the glass in the front, and I was the first one to walk out of the store, and as soon as I walked out of the store, I turned and I looked up in the sky and it was kind of cloudy outside. And I seen Jesus. And I'm like screaming. I'm like yelling. Oh my gosh, it's Jesus. You know, and like the sky was like opened up. And Jesus, he was like a thousand foot tall. I'm just giving a rough estimate. But that's like he was like so big. I can just see his waist up. And Jesus had on like this brownish top robe and then Jesus had like a kind of like a red sash or something like that and he had brown shoulder length hair uh, kind of like the color of my hair like that dark like brunette you know and then Jesus had the full beard you know and uh, Jesus had a really really big scroll looking I guess looking at all the names and I remember Jesus standing there he wasn't looking at me he or anything he was just standing there with this big scroll now pause I've had other rapture dreams where angels have had the scroll I guess of the people's names going into the rapture but this time in this dream Jesus had the scroll, and I remember in my dream, I'm feeling, I felt like it was so real, like I thought in that dream that it's happening right now, like, like right now, and I'm sitting there going, oh my gosh, don't sin, you know, don't sin, um, and um, I was turned, and I was talking to my mom, and all of a sudden I was taken, I was taking and I was flying up through all the clouds. Like I couldn't see down, down at the earth because, like I said, it was gray out. I remember flying through the sky, and I was still able to pray for myself, like to for Jesus to forgive me of all my sins and stuff. And I was still able to pray for my family as I'm flying through the sky and which is funny is I went I don't think I actually yeah I went before my mom and my aunt did it was like in my dream I knew that the rapture was going to happen and you went alphabetical order I don't know that's I mean it could happen you know Jesus can do whatever he wants to but yeah I was taken I was flying through the clouds flying through the sky I, I wasn't even scared or anything and I just remember continuing like I guess as everybody else is being raptured at the same time I'm still you know we're still flying through the sky I was still able to pray for myself and I was still able to pray f for my family you know to Lord Jesus uh, do whatever it takes to get my family into heaven like praying just like that and um all of a sudden, I was at this place, and me and Jesus was there, and there was a table. Let's see, I'm probably about five, six, and um, there's this table up to my chest, right? And it, we were in this room, and it was me and Jesus standing there, and I think my mom was like back behind us, you know. I don't know what she was doing, but uh, me and Jesus was standing there. And, um, he had this, he had the Lamb's Book of Life. I knew it was the Book of Life. And it was really big, I don't know if you know, I mean, like, really 
big, really big book. You know, I don't know if y'all notice that. Sometimes in old Tommy churches, you know, they'll have like a really big family Bible. Like laying out front at the altar, you know. And it looked just like that, but it was brown. Nothing fancy about it. It was just the color brown. Jesus opened up the book. He had the book open. And we were just looking through the names. And I could tell where names used to be there. And then and those names would have been blotted out. Out of the book of life. They were blotted out. As sir, as I'm telling you. And you could see that there was actually once names there. And, um, and I knew in... I was kind of thinking about my my dad and my brother, and um, for some reason, I had knew I'd known that my dad's name was in the Lamb's Book of Life. Now, my dad is not a Christian at all. He he don't go to church. He lives in the world. He 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 claims that he believes in Jesus and God all day, but in the end, he's just he's not a Christian. Well. Like, Jesus was like, he came to the seas, and like, whenever he, like, he came to the seas and stuff, like, the letter C, it would like, have like, gold outline around it, and it would just float off the Bible, or like, the book of life, I'm sorry, it would just float up off there, and it just kind of disappear, and like, just kind of disperse in like, gold light or something and disappear and I thought to myself huh so I walked over to my mom and I asked about my brother and um previous to this before after, before I had this dream I had because my brother uh he's my half brother so he don't live with me uh he lives with his mom and I, just like my dad, I don't get to see them very often. But I try to, you know. And I had talked to him about Jesus. And uh, I, I led him to Christ. And um, it just, it really bothers me about my family going to hell. So anyway, in this dream, in this dream, I went and asked Mom. I said, Mom, I said, do you think I could... Do you think I could ask Jesus about my brother, Drake? She said, yeah, go ahead. So I walked over there, and I was fixing to ask Jesus about my brother, Drake. And I was fixing to say it, but I didn't. Jesus looked straight at me in my eyes. He read my thoughts. He flipped over the book. He turned the page. And right there on the left-hand side at the top, was Drake Creason, and underneath it had numbers up under there of the exact date and the exact time of my brother whenever he got saved that day. And I remember standing there, and it really, I it really didn't bother me about my dad because I knew in my spirit that my dad was written in the Lamb's Book of Life. At that moment, I, whenever Jesus showed me that, I started crying so hard. Standing beside Jesus, crying. And you know, every day, you might not think that if you pray for your family, that your prayers ain't getting answered. Like, Well, that dream of me praying for of Jesus showing me that my brother and my dad's written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you know that it's got to be working. Because I pray for my family every single day. I pray for them. And I just ask, you know, Lord Jesus, I, said, I name every one of them. Their names on my dad's side, my brothers and my sisters, and my dad, of course. I name them, and I'm like, Lord, do what your will is, you know. You know, as long as, as long as something happens, as long as they make it to heaven in the end, I do not care. You know, I know it sounds kind of bad, but in the long run, it really don't matter. As, as long as you get to, 
your family is with you in eternity. It's either that or it's either to enter in with one arm than both of them. Would you rather be like that or go to hell? I mean, seriously, I mean, think about it. Continue to pray for your family. It is so hard right now. Just be like, Lord Jesus, you know, do whatever it takes. Your will be done with my family as long as they get to heaven. I don't care what you do, you know. And that dream show me that whenever you are in heaven, you're still going to be able to pray for your family. Because I did when I was taken into the rapture in that dream. I was still able to pray for myself. I was still able to pray for my family that the Lord will be will will be done to save my family. Some scriptures that uh, y'all can uh, go back and look at. I'm going to say a few of them and then I'll post the rest down below in the description box. Alright. Revelations 3, 5. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. Revelation 20, 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Revelations 20, 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation twenty one twenty seven, And there shall in no wise enter into anything that defileth and neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Revelation twenty two nineteen, And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of, key word, the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. Alright. Here's another one. From the Old Testament now. Even Moses talks about not getting blotted out. Alright. This one's Exodus 32, 31. And Moses, entered, uh, Moses returned unto the Lord and said, O oh, this people have sinned a great sin and have made them gods of gold. Yet now if thou wilt forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray, out of thy book which thou hast written. And the Lord said, unto Moses, Whosoever has sinned against me, him I will blot out of my book. Alright. And this one is Psalm. Psalm 69, 27 through 28. And add iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and not be written with the righteous. Well, the Bible says it pretty clear, if you ask me. And like I said, I'll post the rest of the scripture down below in the description. Uh, God bless, and Jesus is coming soon. Keep watching, keep repenting, and staying in holiness.